Welcome to the lesson that will demonstrate how to add your voice to a poster in Google Drawing. As you can see, I have several icons on my poster. This one was set up to actually play a sound. This is set up to link to a video. I did go ahead and get an icon of a microphone, and this will actually link to my voice. That is going to be the demonstration for this video. To get started, you want to go ahead and go to the Start menu in the bottom left corner and choose Audacity. You can type it in if you can't find it to locate Audacity. Go ahead and open up Audacity. The first thing you'll want to do is click on the Record button and make sure it's not a straight line. Notice it is not a straight line. That is good. If it were a straight line, you would need to troubleshoot to determine why it's not recording. You could also hit the play button to make sure it's working. I'll go ahead and close this and we'll get started. I'm going to go ahead and make this window a little smaller and have it so that I could read one of the animals. So for example, I might go ahead and do the penguins. I would click on the record button and start reading the story. I went ahead and recorded the story on penguins and when I was done recording I hit the stop button which happens to be orange. I'm going to go ahead and rewind by clicking on the rewind option and start playing it. Usually if there's a straight line it's nothingness so you can delete that. So you would want to hit play to determine if it's deletable. If you play it and it's garbage you would click the delete key of your keyboard and you would continue to do this throughout the presentation. Do make sure to hit the play button to determine if it's bad or not. A lot of times you'll have some unnecessary breathing and you will want to remove that. If you want to zoom in on your voice, you would click on the magnifying glass with a plus sign. You could also click on the zoom out as well. That's just something that some people like to work with. Here is an example of breathing. I'm going to want to remove that, so I would click on the delete key. I'm continuing to clean this up so that the story is perfected as much as possible. Once you're done perfecting your story, you want to choose File, Export, get to a safe location on your computer. Maybe you made a folder, in this case I'll put it in computer class, and Sound. And I will name it Penguins. When this pops up, go ahead and click OK. You will now have the MP3 to upload to your Google Drive. So I will go to Google Drive and I'm going to go ahead and locate a folder that's logical to put this sound. I just so happen to have a sound folder. If not, you can choose Create Folder and make a sound folder. That is for organization purposes. So I'll open up the sound folder. I will then choose the Upload option, Files. I will go to that computer folder on my desktop, open up Sound, and there's Penguins. You then want to choose the Share option once it's loaded. Choose Advanced and change it from Private to Public and choose Save. Before choosing Done, you can see that the link to share is highlighted. You can right click and choose Copy or choose Control C of your keyboard and choose Done. Then go to your endangered poster and as you can see I put a sound icon. So I will click on that. I will choose the hyperlink and I will do Control V or I will right click and choose Paste and apply. Now when someone comes to the poster and clicks on this, they select the link and it should load the story. And they just simply hit play. If you want to add more audio stories, go ahead and select the microphone icon in this example. Choose Control C and then Control V and you can do the story for another animal. Do make sure that you remove the hyperlink and when you're ready, you can add another hyperlink to this microphone. Now since this is a penguin, I'm going to move it to the penguin location. This concludes the session on how to add your own voice to a Google drawing. Until next time, you have a wonderful day.